Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon 101.43. Today we're going to talk a little bit about dungeon etiquette, and we could probably spend an hour and a half talking about dungeon etiquette, but this dungeon etiquette specifically related to uh, whip scenes and whip throwing, uh, and it's my take on it. So uh, please take it with a grain of salt and, salt, and hopefully something I say will benefit you. Uh, there should be some protocols that you establish uh, when creating a whip scene. Uh, always talk to a dungeon monitor before you commence a whip scene. If there's a dungeon monitor in the, the dungeon or the play party that you're attending, uh, let all of the tops in the adjacent areas that are playing somehow know that you're going to do a whip scene. If they haven't started their scene, then be sure that you communicate with them. If they're in the middle of a scene, you don't want to interrupt their scene, but there's easy ways to catch someone's eye. If you catch someone's eye and show them that you're going to be using a whip, you, you in nonverbal ways can communicate with them to let them know that a whip scene is going to be going on. Um, one of my new pet peeves is, is talk in the dungeon. Uh, my philosophy is I shouldn't be able to hear someone talking when I'm throwing above the music. If I hear voices, uh, social chatting above the music, then the music's not loud enough. Uh, so I like loud dungeon music so I don't have to hear the rabble chatting and distracting me. Realize a whip, a whip scene is edge play. When a whip breaks the sound barrier, it's traveling at 767 miles per hour, and I'm trying to play six to eight feet away with the last inch or inch and a half of that whip. And if someone in the peanut gallery or a voyeur is chatting loudly and distracts me, then I might not hit the intended target. And then that, that's poor form on my part as well as poor form on the part of the other people in the dungeon. So the dungeon's a sacred space, and we'll talk more about that later. Uh, I wanna recognize that whip scenes, even though we may be very accomplished, are, are considered edge play and should be treated as edge play. And today's key word, if I remember it, is music. 